I think it is one of the most preposterous story of the century. To imagine that um, in modern day Nigeria, someone can still be so I like the word to actually describe it, um, but I think it, it expresses the frustration that you have in the system. It expresses the lack of accountability that you have in the system, and it expresses the larger impunity that you have in the system. It is impossible for anyone to convince me that a snake, a snake can creep into an office, swallow not one naira, not 1,000 naira, not 100,000 naira, not 1 million naira. But we are talking, talking about 36 million naira. And someone is bold enough, or stupid enough actually, to say to Nigerians that a, a snake actually crept, you know, crept into the office to swallow 36 million uh, naira. I think when I say that, it's, it's, it's an expression of the level of impunity we have in the system. If there is a certainty that there is a sanction awaiting such, such action. I doubt that any public office holder can be bold enough to approach Nigerians and make such statement. At each step of the way, I have always said that I'm willing to give every arm of government in the Nigerian enterprise the benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt in indicating that every opportunity that the judiciary has to right every wrong that has become associated with the judiciary. Here is another opportunity to actually correct it. Um, so many public opinions out there um, seems to hold out the judiciary as being the albatross, as being the main reason why the anti-corruption fight has not gone anywhere. I think this is an opportunity for the judiciary to actually correct, correct that um, impression by ensuring that um, justice is served. But however, we must acknowledge one thing. It is not in the place of the judiciary to come out and begin to look for the snake. It is for the Nigerian government to take steps, first, to institute a proper case, and then put it in the space of the judiciary to serve justice. If that doesn't happen, we cannot point to the judiciary as being the problem in this instance.